Hi everyone and happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to this episode of the Elusive Turkey, the Elusive Panda. Thanksgiving is a time to get together with all your family in one place and I think we can all agree that one way to get through the holiday is to have a whole lot of turkey. <laughs> For this Thanksgiving episode, we're going to scan and restore a Thanksgiving slide. I have this vintage slide from 1961. It's a photo of a Thanksgiving dinner. I'll be taking you through the process of scanning an old slide, bringing that into Photoshop, checking the color balance, and doing a little bit of restoration, and we'll see what that looks like in the end. This is a Kodachrome slide. Kodachrome was a very famous film made by Kodak. On the back there's a stamp. You can see right here, January 1961. So this is the shiny side, so this is the up, this is the front of the film. And on the back, this side is, is not as shiny as the other side. This is the back of the film. We know that the shiny side is going to go down. We'll set it in the number one spot. So let's do a preview. This is going to do a really fast scan of the slide just so that we can see what the cropping is like. And here it is, here's our slide. Let's turn it to the proper orientation, there we go. And let's also look at it without the automatic cropping. I'm going to draw a little box that extends past the edges of the slide frame. On these adjustments, I want to make sure we scan the entire dynamic range. Let's go ahead and scan, and it's going to take a little bit of time to scan at 4800 DPI, probably a minute or two. <sighs> And let's drag that into Photoshop and see what we have. Let's rotate the image first. Let's do our red, green, blue curves correction and see if we can get the white balance to be as accurate as possible. And now let's look at our color balance after doing red, green, blue curves. That looks a lot better. That looks kind of washed out in the original. And now with the curves, the contrast has improved. All the colors look pretty accurate. Let's duplicate everything we have now into a new layer. And let's fix some of the little spots that I see. Okay, we've taken care of most of the, the dust and the scratches on the original film. We don't really need to do much with color on this image because this is an original Kodachrome slide. Rather than making a digital image look like old film and applying maybe a lookup table or a film preset, this is film. This is the original color of Kodachrome. And it looks really good. It has a really great skin tone. And this is already our preset. We can crop it before we go, so a two to three fits pretty well. We'll just bring it in past these little uh, edges here. We can sharpen that just a little bit, but we don't want to sharpen too much with film because unlike a digital image, the grain in film, it doesn't like to sharpen without creating a lot of noise and making the image look worse in my opinion. So we'll sharpen it just enough to make his face look a little bit better and then we'll leave it alone. So let's go to uh, filter, sharpen, we'll do an unsharp mask and I'm going to make the amount oh just above a hundred somewhere and we'll increase the radius until we start seeing his eyes sharpen up a little bit. Here's the overall image comparison. There's our original a little bit washed out, not as much color and imperfections. And with our changes, we have good looking color. We've got better contrast. You can see a little bit more detail around the small stuff like this tasty turkey dinner and their fine silverware. Look at these beautiful dishes. Oh, all the, all the peas and it looks like celery, carrots, 
mashed potatoes, cranberries, we've got the whole spread here. They really knew how to do Thanksgiving back in the 60s. And that's what scanning a slide is like when the slide is in relatively good shape. So happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have a Thanksgiving as good as this guy right here. Try not to get into a fight with your in-laws. Stay tuned for the next Elusive Panda video.